Welcome to Inside the Studio with Greg Wirth. And in this episode, I'm going to demonstrate a new plugin from Plugin Alliance called the Acme Octacon Model XLA3. It's a leveling amplifier and um, it's modeled off the hardware. And this is actually a really cool compressor limiter. Um, it's got a lot of tone. So basically, I'm just going to demonstrate using Cold Sweat, a song you guys are probably familiar with by now. And I'll just run it through the paces. I, I'm going to use it on a couple tracks and then I'll show it in context to the mix. So you can hear it gets kind of gritty and slightly distorted, which is really cool. Um, I felt like I needed to back off the wet dry mix here to, to let it breathe a little bit. But since it's drums, you know, I think it, it feels nice to have a fast setting here so that it can sort of pump a little bit. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I'm going to leave that for now and let's move on to the bass. I'm blending the, the bass DI and the amp together on this track down here. So let's check this out. So you hear in this setting and normal, uh, it adds a little grit to it. It's kind of nice and, and weighty. I'll, I'll mess with these other settings and see what it does. Yeah, when you, when you flip it to fast, it gets real gritty real quick, which is kind of cool. Let's hear it in slow mode. So that's kind of cool. I mean, it, it's all dependent on the material, what you're looking for, but I think for the sake of this, um, I just want to give it a try and keep it in the fast setting. I'll have to go back and adjust the output. And I adjusted the wet dry to about 82%. So let's just leave that for now. I think that's really cool. Add some nice grit there. And Here's the lead vocal. Um, it's already, as I mentioned in a uh, video before, I mean, this vocal has been compressed pretty heavily on the way in. So this is just more for character and tone at this point. It's not as much leveling needed here. So let me make this default here. What's this blood on my hands? So that's kind of cool. It makes it poke out a little more, may, maybe add a little dimension because, it's, you know, the harmonics. So let's just hear it in context of the mix and um, I'll go through and I'll bypass, you know, I'll play the whole mix and then I'll bypass the drum bus and then I'll go down and bypass the bass so we can hear what this is sounding like in the context of the mix. So 
So immediately what I hear is just a lot of excitement on the top end, you know, it makes the snare a little brighter and the cymbals sparkle a little more. It's pretty cool. It adds some nice character to that. So let's do the same thing with the bass now. It's a little harder to hear in there, but it's kind of blending in nicely with the guitars. Hopefully you can at least hear that it's enhancing it. Okay, so now the vocal. So there you have it, uh, another great plugin from Plugin Alliance, just another character unit here. You can actually, um, what I, you know, you guys can demo it and check it out for yourselves, but you can flip it over here and you can basically use this just to drive signal and add distortion and tone to your tracks. So that's kind of cool. And um, one thing I should mention, because it's kind of bit me in the ass before, is some plugins are are cleverly modeled and they they capture the noise that the units have so um just if if you're hearing hiss or noise in 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 a track check the plugin and make sure that you um don't have a noise switch engaged or something like that because some a lot of times these units are defaulted with the noise set to on so just as a little uh tip there but all right, well, thanks for watching Inside the Studio with Greg Worth, and please subscribe to the channel and the newsletter on my website, and I'll check you out next time.